Hey everybody, um, I just want to share here some testimonies <laughs> of um, souls, yeah. You know, um, obviously, you know, the world is is a chaos right now. So much is happening. But um, but hearts are being so softened, you know. I believe even hearts that maybe before were not. So I want to share, um, yeah, some of these testimonies. I'll try to be quick, but I, but also, like, give you some details, okay? Okay, so... Last weekend, uh, we were celebrating a friend's birthday, and uh, out of all the places we could be, we ended up in a place that there was some music, <laughs> and it wasn't like, you know what I mean, like, we stayed outside, um, it was nice place, beautiful place, but just worldly music, and it was life. But God has his ways, right? So even though it was loud sometimes, and it was kind of like, ah, uh, you know, not, I mean, to me personally, like, um, yeah. I'm not into this. I used to be, you know, into bars and stuff. But that's not who I am anymore. Thank God, right? <laughs> For many years. But, um, and obviously, um, God is everywhere because he's in us. So we were a bunch of Christian people and lovers of Jesus. We were outside and there was a moment that the Lord just broke in. And then, <laughs> um, we begin, you know, how it can be like laughing and all that. It was beautiful. And this river came around and she's like, came to check on you guys because we were the only ones outside. Um, I thought I had served you water. She was like a little shocked. But that kind of like shifted the atmosphere, I felt in a way, you know. And a little after that, we end up like, we we're about leaving and I went inside where the music was going on. Um, uh, they have this until like two o'clock. And it was a little late, it was around 11. I went in to use the restroom. And when I was passing by, I saw this guy on uh, like really like singing, but it was just so highlighted. Immediately I knew, I'm like, I, I just knew that there was a divine appointment. So um, what is funny for me in this place is that, um, you know, like when it's dark, the, sh the, the light gets to shine, right? So yeah, you know, people are drinking, doing their things, whatever they're doing there. So I kind of like felt free also to do my thing, right? So I begin to walk a little bit back and forth and I begin to um, pray in tongues because the music was loud anyway. So I was like, kind of like walking around and claiming that so because I knew that that was a divine appointment. I begin to claim, I'm like, Lord, I just know that I know that I know that I know that I know that this one here is a worshiper and, um, you know, there is greater things for him. So... And I had no idea how long they're going to sing or what. I just needed to use the restroom and it was busy. And uh, there was a little line in there. So I was waiting. So that's what happened. And even before I used the restroom, to my surprise, he stopped singing. I don't know if it was kind of like a performance thing, like one or two songs. He stopped singing. And uh, yeah, apparently like they rotate in this bar, in this restaurant bar, whatever it was. Anyways, so... He stopped his thing and he began to bring his instrument right in my direction. And I'm like, oh, Holy Ghost, here we are, right? <laughs> I jumped on it and I was quick. I shared the gospel. I, I, I shared the gospel and I shared how Jesus after his heart and I told him who he was, who he is called to be as a worshiper, you know, and he just brightened up. Um, it was like, you know, everything God does is easy, right? There's no resistance when it's a divine appointment. So he just took it in. Uh, he's Jamaican. He's like, yeah, everything I said, he's like, uh, you know, agreeing. So I'm like, okay, so, you know, finally I wrapped it up real quick. I'm like, so would you like to, you know, receive this gift now? Give your heart to Jesus and, you know, repent of your sins. And do you, do you want to do this right now? He, he's like, yes. In the middle of the bar with the people just watching. Imagine Jesus. So he just bowed his head. And I put my, you know, my, I laid my hands. And as I laid my hands, to my surprise, another woman came around, laid her hands. And I'm like, oh, we have agreement here. Uh, <laughs> and then we prayed and he gave his heart to Jesus. And I prayed for the Holy Ghost to fill him. He invited the Holy Ghost to come over. The guy was sweating. I mean, I, I could feel the power as well, the fire. And so could he. At the end, he was shining. His face was lighting up. And I was like, whoa, you know like he literally got born again come on hallelujah gave him you know a few basics um on on falling up how it's a relationship daily you know read the bible the whole nine yard and uh then he kind of like you know uh went when finishing wrapping up his instruments 
and now my friend Victoria came alongside and this lady is like we begin to chat so it turned out oh no 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 before he leaves I say hey you know what you're a worshiper so one and he's a black guy Jamaican so I said um um you kind of remind me of John Wilde He's also a worshiper, so check him up, check his music. It's kind of like a parallel for you to see your calling. When I said John Wilde, the girl goes like, oh, I, John, I know John Wilde. I'm like, really? She's like, yeah, I used to play or something like that with him. Long story short, she knew him, so we begin chat, and she's, I'm not quite sure, like, you know, where she's at with the Lord, but she has a walk, and she was there, and she was witnessing to this guy before, they're from Tallahassee, she's from Tallahassee, so she came along because she's been, you know, kind of like, so anyways, we prayed for her as well, she rededicated her life as well, my friend Victoria was a writer with me there, and it turned out that we begin to chat, and everyone else was Jesus school students, so, uh, so, my friend Victoria is a Jesus student, so she, she told the lady, and the lady goes like, oh, my friend also. She's like, what's her name? Rebecca. And then it turned out that the same lady, Rebecca, is friends with my friend Victoria since middle school from New York. Only God could orchestrate something like this. To God be the glory. So what a beautiful divine appointment. <laughs> Yay, you know, soul's connection, and that was that. That was beautiful. <laughs> So that was last week. Um, some other ones this week. Um, yesterday I was with my friend Arena. We were um, um, just chilling in a park in Altamont. And this guy kept catching our attention as we were working out. You know, we're talking and then we'd look at the guy. Like, Anyways, long story short, our whole day time talking and ch chatting with each other, having a good time, me and her, the guy was there next to us working out. I mean, a long workout because it was around two hours. So when we left, we couldn't resist. I'm like, let's just go and chat, you know? So we went and um, apparently he looked like, um, you know, um, yeah, with the identity, um, you know, uncertainties. Uh, but it was just so beautiful. What a beautiful soul. Oh my goodness, we ministered to him. He was so open to the gospel. And when we begin to talk, tell him about Jesus, he literally had a friend. He met somebody. He moved all the way from Pennsylvania here. Um, and then he met, this is all recent. And then he met somebody and this person was telling him about Jesus and begin to do a Bible study. He would meet with him and study the word. And then, this is a sad story. The guy died in a car accident. You see how the devil doesn't want his life to come to him. I mean, seriously, that got me mad, like a holy, you know, like anger, like, oh, no, we're going to get here. We're going to get this so back. So obviously he was, you know, it was like not an easy thing to, to walk for him because he, you know, now he doesn't really know anybody. So we ended up exchanging contacts. Arena, you know, connected him with um, Ecclesia. And uh, he gave his heart to Jesus. He prayed, gave his heart to Jesus. It was beautiful, 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 beautiful. And as all that would happen, we could see his identity of who he's called to be. Um, in the sense of his gender, like coming, you know, even though like his nails were painted and all that. But it's like, I'm like, yeah, that's who he is. <laughs> you know, we find the gold. We find the gold and we call that out. We speak that out and we see it. So it was beautiful, such a nice guy, such a nice guy. It was just beautiful, it was just beautiful, yeah. Oh God, oh, bless him, his, yeah, I don't wanna say his name, just, wow, well, but I'll say his last name, O'Brien, so just pray for him, O'Brien, I think, he's Irish, yeah. Anyways, from Pennsylvania, pray that his seed will stay, you know, that he'll get connected. Anyways, and then another one, uh, this was like interesting also, it was in a store later on in the evening, I went for a date with the Lord and then I just, you know, end up in this place, begin conversation with the cash register, the cashier. And uh, I was just saying, how are you doing? You know, and she opened up. She's like, well, you know, I feel like everybody's depressed now and it's such a hard season. And she was sharing her struggles and financially she lost her business and she's working just 11 hours. And, um, you know, just sharing even how young people were taking their lives away. And I was just listening and I was like, oh Lord. And then, you know, I ministered to her hope. She felt, it felt like she was acquainted to the gospel, but you know, like it's sometimes people like, yeah, you don't know where they're at spiritually. So anyways, I just really heard her, uh, encouraged her, prayed for her 
ask you know if I could pray a day and she's like yeah sure so I prayed for her and she also gave her heart to Jesus I feel like it was more of a dedication as well but the point is that ministered a lot to me just to see the hardship you know that a lot of people are going so it's it's sad but at the same time their hearts are becoming so soft like all these encounters I'm sharing with you guys you didn't have any resistance you know so I want to encourage you by with this video as I'm encouraging even myself yes we're going through things you know but God is still in the throne right and he's in control and um, um, only a dry land can literally <laughs> appreciate water you know so it seems like the hearts are being prepared for the awesome pouring of the Holy Ghost Hey, ho, ho, hey, ho, ho, whoa, ho, that's coming. So, <laughs> let it be done, <laughs> you know? We go through anything we need to go through, but God's will will prevail. Hey, God's will will prevail. Yes, and I want to say this here, America. Hey, America shall be saved. Hey, America shall be saved. We will see a great move of God. We will see a great, great, you know, great move of God. We will see souls. Hey, coming to the Lord. Here in America as well. Not just billions of souls everywhere else in other places or miracles. No, no. Here as well in America. Hey, I just declared this upon I pray, prophesy, declare, come in agreement in Jesus' name. So may this encourage you and may each and every one of you watching this video, and including me, may all of us be part of it. Amen. God bless you. Bye.